to my home studio. I turned a spare bedroom into a very functional printmaking studio. I have a Dickerson combination press. I am a relief printmaker now. I've concentrated on the color reduction woodcut for 35 years. But last year, I decided to try something new. The scent is my second attempt at the Mocolito process or lithography on wood. This woodcut was done without cutting any wood. The background color was printed first in four separate runs using mylar stencils. Then the actual Mocolito block was printed twice, first in a transparent white, and then in a transparent blue. I drew on sanded birch plywood with an assortment of greasy drawing materials, including a tush wash. Then I etched it with gum Arabic to strengthen the water loving areas and the grease loving areas. So the ink will only stick to the drawn areas while keeping the wood wet with a damp sponge. The non-drawn areas will absorb water and reject ink, just like traditional lithography, or that is the theory. Unfortunately, the Mokolito process is far less predictable and stable. You must learn to go with what you get and expect surprises. For the second Mokolito, I added a second etch with 50% tannic acid to the gum arabic. For my second Mokolito, I decided to start out by printing the background color first in relief with mylar stencils with an uncut piece of quarter inch plywood. Then I printed the Mocolito matrix laster on top. You may view run by run how I printed the scent on my website under second Mocolito at kathycrawford.com. These photos show my process. First, I printed the first run using an uncut piece of birch plywood with a mylar stencil and a blended roll. For the second run through the press, I made two blended rolls for the two isolated shapes with hand brayers and a mylar stencil. I printed the third and fourth run the same way. The fifth run, is the printing of the actual Mocolito drawing on a separate piece of, piece of birch plywood. I lost some of the Mocolito drawing in this run that I printed in a white etching ink. For some reason, my Sharpie marker lines and Senefelder oil pastel line did not print. The tush washes did print consistently, but I lost some detail there too. So I decided to print it a second time in a blue, a blue ink and many of the lost details reappeared for some reason. <clears throat> this model print on the left is missing the last run. And the one on the right is an addition variant. The scent represents a new direction for me aesthetically as well as technically. Taking a break from my figurative work, my recent woodcuts are more non-objective. This new direction is the converging of color, line, shape, and texture in an ambiguous space with whispers of landscape. Several of my recent prints express my concern for our environmental crisis as it affects our oceans and waterways. I feel that Mother Earth is getting even with this pandemic for all of humanity's abuses.